Listen up, Raiders. Welcome to Geek Chess. My name's Steve. My name is Ernest. And today we got some figures for you. We're doing some unboxing. Well, mainly one unboxing. I might open more stuff, but one of my things I can't actually open slash already been open. We're opening this. No, it's mine. <laughs> I wanted to review it, <laughs> but I've decided against it. It's just going to stay in the box. No, that's such a rarity to find that in a box like that. You cannot open that. But show it off, Steve. Yeah, well, we got to talk about what we did over the weekend. I slept. What'd you do? And, and never mind. I spent hours, hours in a waiting line to get in a match in Call of Duty. <laughs> hey. Again, how many Call of Duties are we in? It's still so buggy. We just literally finished playing a few matches. He was like, I'm on my way. I was like, well, I need one more match. I hop in. Nope, server crash. Again. Like the load screens, you get stuck in the load screens, playing the campaign, characters are stuck in animations. Uh, online has a huge lag issue. Weapons are slightly imbalanced. Took me forever to find my weapon, but I'm double barrel shotgunning it. With a KD on two point something on it. I'm good now. Nope, first light machine gun. You can kill people with that thing. Because like half the guns feel like you're using BBs. And then there's a couple of guns you feel like you're actually using real ammo. You just gotta find and you gotta unlock those. That's the thing. It's like the most common World War II guns. You need the Car 98, you need the Bar, and you need like the uh, first light machine gun that Steve's talking about. Yeah, that thing. Not much recoil, does a decent amount of damage, big clip. Takes forever to reload though, that's the issue with that gun. Forever. Once you get the extended Meg 100 clips, you need to reload. But it's like shotguns, like they're so inconsistent when you're trying to use them. Sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they just don't hit anything. That guy could be in front of you and the bullets just go, woo, in a circle around me. <laughs> it's great. Love it. Better you go to pull the trigger, nothing happens, you drop dead. That was a lot. Oh, God, it pisses me off so much. It's just such a huge host advantage. Which I, you, you think I'd be used to by now for Call of Duty games? But it's just like. At least on launch, make sure the game is playable. Like, they even beta it. And it still has issues. The game pisses me off. Let's just talk about happy stuff. Happy stuff, Steve. We went to Yomacon. Yeah. Actually, met a fan there. So that was different. I was expecting that one. Uh, no. See my hoodie. <laughs> Asked me questions and saw my face. Knew who I was. The ugly Monday. Can't forget. Can't forget this. But yeah, uh, it was a good time. Did a lot of shopping. Uh, me more so. I think our nice had more money items. Well, I just bought a few things that were cheaper. Well, like the DVD itself cost fifty dollars. What the heck? I was like, I don't need this in Blu-ray. Do you have it in regular? Yes. How much is it? Fifty dollars. It was like five dollars less. Just give me the Blu-ray. <laughs> like no way. Like that's so stupid. It should have been at least like fifteen dollars less. I almost bought the school days Blu-ray. Should have. The one I should have grabbed was Devil Man, but I really didn't want to spend any more money. Yeah, that was the issue. That was Devil Man. There was a lot of DVDs I wanted to grab. That one guy had a lot of good ones. Like a lot of them were kind of like the Malaysia copies, or whatever. But for the price, you can't beat it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so a lot of cool cosplays, uh, especially a Satsuki from Kill la Kill. Oh, then what's her face from uh, uh, Lollipop Chainsaw? Juliet, Juliet, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, something like that. That girl like spitting image. Oh my god, I posted on Instagram. Go see it. I was like, this is my favorite cosplay period, dude. Yeah, then her boyfriend was super upset. <laughs> I'm like, she's dressed up, man. You just what did you expect? Yeah, what do you expect? Like, the people want they're gonna want photos. I gotta say, touching, touching bad, but photos. Well, she asked if I want to take a photo with her, and he just gave me like dirtiest look. I was like. I don't want the poor girl to get kicked out of house, you know. I'll just take one of you. Yeah, there was that. There was like there was a lot of good ones, a lot of interesting ones too, like the Sonic Bolly the popsicle. God, I'm so stupid. That pissed it's me stupid, off so but it's still creative. Like it's creative. You got so like, like, many to, like people were like screaming for it. I had a, I had somebody that came up because we were wearing Monster Masumi t-shirts. He had us too. I had a rack day. He was like, "Hey, I like your shirt. You're wearing Best Girl." Looked at me and he was like. Worst girl. And walked away. I was like, <laughs> what the fudge? <laughs> really? Uh, that was amazing. Like, towards the end of the convention, I like somebody like my shirt because I was like, Captain 8 Spider. 
That was her with the coffee mug. I got so many compliments for my shirt, it's hilarious. So many high fives. I was like, it's only a Sue shirt. I was wearing a kilt. <laughs> I got nothing. I just wanted attention, too. And the one was free. <laughs> Sadly, I wasn't the only one. No. So, props. But, yeah, uh, also some stuff we hear are things that I ordered recently, too. Um, noticeable things I ordered that isn't here is I got Mari, the Figma Mari from Evangelion. So I finally have all the Figmas. I uh, picked up the uh, Robot Spirits Heavy Arms Kai from Gundam Wing. Oh. I finally have my own now. What did time? It cost me 60 bucks. Now. Oh! Really? That's still cheaper than trying to order them on eBay. <coughs> That's a lot of money. He's like 100 something on eBay. Oh. Yeah, we don't talk about him. He was He's the expensive one. I think him and Ultron Gundam, Dragon Gundam, they're, they're both pricey. I see Sand Rocks and stuff pop up for like 30 bucks. I gotta grab one next time I see it. Uh, but those are most noticeable. I didn't bring the poster or the wall scroll that I got. Uh, actually, there's the one sitting behind us. That's the one our nose got. Yeah, so that's one of the things I bought right there. If you want to see a clear picture of it, it's on Instagram. Check I, it out. Yeah, I got a Kill the Kid one too, but mine's like them wearing the opposite outfits. So uh, Sengetsu's on uh, Satsuki. I like mine just because it's like... The I'm upset that you got that one because they only had one left and I really wanted one too. I'm sorry. It's fine because... One thing I got a Yomakon that our does didn't get to get. I finally got a King Alien. The you can go King Alien. Self, Steve. So happy. Saw it on the table. I just picked it up like this. What's mine? <laughs> I let our does get that one. Well, we were walking and I seen the alien figures and I was like, oh, oh. And I see Steve's hand. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I grabbed that thing so fast. Like, this is coming home with me. I've been wanting this thing ever since I was a kid. Finally found one. I still need this guy. Arachnid Alien. He's one I've never seen either. So, But I can get him on eBay for like 25 bucks. So I'm not too concerned. But it's okay. Because I got this bad boy. And I'm actually very happy with it. The Evac Fighter? Yeah. Yeah, that one's uh, one I still have to eventually try to get. You know, like, you got a good price. Because on e even on eBay, it's like 40 ish with the box. So, you did good. Yeah, well, this one is unopened inside of the box. Yeah, so it's unopened. Still, still wrapped, the yeah. original thing. So, we'll see when we unbox it. And then the other one, which I forget her name. But she is from the third Evangelion movie. We'll zoom in towards the end. Uh, this is the Sega statue of her. Which this, uh, the data pad that she holds is a pain in the butt to get in there. Like, I just slide it underneath and then wedge it in between her hands. I want to say it's like Wiley. I it's don't like know. Sun. I don't I never watch that like stuff. But it was like Brain of Obscure Anime Girl from Show I Like. So I was like, I'll grab it. it. Cost me like 30 bucks, so it wasn't too bad, especially for a Sega statue. Hey, where's my blue one at? It's not in yet. Did you want them at the same time? No, yeah, this is my set. Oh, okay. Then I have another one of these coming in, but got some Akiba Rangers with Super Akiba Red, Akiba Yellow, and Akiba Blue, which I haven't actually opened these yet. Uh, what I have on order right now, which we'll probably do a video of that too, is I have the standard one, but he comes with the stands for everyone. I found one of those, and then Arnez has his own blue one I found, so I ordered one of those. Ah, she's the chunky one. No, oh, she's the chunky one. You got blue skin. Yo, you'll have two blue Steve. No, I don't want two blues. But yeah, uh, this is actually a show I haven't seen very much of, but like, I've seen enough clips where I feel like I really need to get, at least get the figures, because they're very inexpensive, the figure arts. Like, this set here ran me about 30 bucks. And it'll be one of those things that I'll end up watching for a sure. A little over 30 bucks. Like I he was the most expensive. He was, well, no, 40? Because he was 20, and these two ran me about 10 bucks each. Steve also got this, which I hate him because I wanted one, but I was out of money. Yeah, guys, potentially. 
I like pugs. I like kill a kill. Seem like a win. I actually, I bought this for my wife. But she likes kill a kill too. And she's more into plushies. But, yeah. Especially with the new puggle and everything, I thought it'd be really cool. I always wanted to get another one just so he could play with it. But then I feel like he would go after this one when he finally destroyed that one. What else we got in here, Steve? Alright, so. We'll save this one for last because I think this one's the coolest one. But. I did get a hold of a uh, Oremo statue of Ayasa, just as one of the villains from the Magical Girl show in it. It's like Thanos or something like that. But yeah, she's dressed up in it. You can definitely see her butt exposed on the back here. But the main reason I grabbed it is it's Koto Bakia. Then I screwed up because uh, I thought they made three statues of each of the girls. I found out that's the Sega one. There's only one of her. So she's oh. all by herself. Well, that kind of sucks. Yeah, it's a pretty statue. I like how she looks, like, disgusted. Like, she's like, yeah. <laughs> It's a very different look. It's definitely an odd look, that's for sure. Yeah, it's an odd figure, but it's really cool. Like, it'll look cool behind the other ones. And then our already got them out. But I found the two magical girls from Arima, which she had Miruru. And Alpha Omega. Which are just Sega statues. Nothing too complicated. But just like little poses. Got them again just to kind of go along with the Figma Remos that I got. Because I still want, they make a Nindo droid of her. If I can find that one, but this will do. So, yeah, it's one of those like, I don't know why, I just, I really like that anime. Or Remo. Right, it's fan. one of those that, like, the ending kind of hurts it a bit. Not a fan. Because I always, like, I liked the idea of it until they actually went with it, and I was like, oh. oh. Not a fan. <laughs> but still, like, it's a it's a fun anime. I was like, okay, it's not bad. Oh, oh, no. You know, if they make more Orogamanga Sensei, it's probably going to go that route. As much as I kind of appreciate that anime, you know, because it's in the same universe. Which is odd. He's gonna sleep with his sister. <laughs> At least they're like, to my understanding, not blood related. Still weird. Still weird. Like a Remo, I was waiting for the like the pitch ball that like she's adopted or something. No, to no. To kind of make it. She's just his sister. Yeah, it still doesn't help. So, yeah, weird ending. I right, showed the best for the last deep. Okay, so this is actually my wife's Christmas present, so don't tell her, even though she already knows about it. I'll open it up in this video. Oh for god, you. it's hideous. Got the Revoltec Tyrannosaurus from the Lost World Jurassic Park. Hideous. Hideously awesome. It's hideous because it's Revoltec. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is it's super tiny looking though. Oh god. It is a tiny widow. It looks tourist. like this big. Yeah, it's about the same size as the Godzilla, or like the Godzilla figures that came out of this. Like, probably actually a little smaller. But, yeah, alright, what are we unboxing first? I'll start opening this one. You open that one. So, jokes on you, I already previously messed around with this one. I haven't. I like you, Steve. I got patience. I can wait. I got zero. Oh, no. Ooh, it's got the instructions. Yep. Still falling out. There we go. Back in there, T-Rex sign. Alright, so my comes with instructions on how to play with the toy seat. Sweet. Are we going to put it together and hang it from your ceiling? I want to. Alright, so everything is still wrapped up. I'm waiting for it to miss something, though. If there's just something going. That's, that's what I'm I'll go back for. and we'll find him. I will mess up this day. But yeah, so this is how big this T-Rex is. We can balance him. But he looks cool. You got a knife? I at least want to open one of these. And I bought these pretty much brand new. Well, I don't think she's so. Are they comfy already? The only reason I want to pick this one up, though, is because the dude... Looks like a lady. 
No, he has his waifu wrapping around him as armor. And it's Ouch. Awesome. His waifu protects him. It's his super mode. Okay, so the cool thing is, it has the missiles. Oh. That is cool. I was going to say, it should have more than one, but yeah, I see one. Yeah, it's got all four of them. And he's got a couple of ribbons for his bag. Mm. Oh, yeah, accessories? Vinyl fresh, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, look at all the dust. No, he's cool looking. I like this. I don't know where I'm going to put him. Because, do I put him with the Beetleborgs and the Kamen Riders? Probably. Once I get to the axe stage set up, uh, will it really any fit? He's the only one I think that will work. Got any other? Well, this is a pain in the butt to put together. I'm not. I'm not taking this apart. No, it just sits on the shelf once you get that thing. Okay. Although good. seeing it more, I kind of want to get one now. More so. Okay, so this is a pain in the butt to put together. Well, yeah, back in the day when they made really cool toys. Like this alien has two gimmicks to it. He can what? open his hands and squirt water out of his mouth. It's cray cray. I don't know. Somebody got upset that I said cray cray and I don't even care. That's cray cray. Exactly. There we go. That's neat. So, alien goes in here. So I got our alien in the dome. I don't want to say that dropped out. Like, yeah, it does. You pulled a lever. Yeah, I was like, there's a lever right here. I'm just trying to figure it out. Does it go outwards? Yeah! We should stick this out the window and drop it out the house. Yeah, like, like <laughs> <laughs> Videotape everything. How do you get back in easily? That's another question. Oh, you click on one side and you just push the other side to click in. Uh, no, this, this is complicated. No, it's not. I'm showing. It's super complicated. Yeah, there we go. It's just Steve proof. Pretty much. So you can fly around with your alien trapped inside. I see a design error. Well, you're not supposed to leave a missile in there like I did. It messes up with the spring. See, there's the other compartment for the missile right down there. So I got you all. That's not too. It needs more stickers. Yeah, that's. Like, if I had one complaint, it needs more stickers. I'm assuming it came with the stickers, because look at the box. It's got stickers. This is just missing the stickers. Yeah, look, see. Sure you didn't get any stickers somewhere in there? Yeah. Still hiding in the box? Uh, I'm calling the 1 800 number. We really do care. Oh, I really do care. I'm calling the 1 800 number. Shall we, Steve? Or find out if the number still active? Do it. Uh, sir, any of us stickers? It's probably some like hot, like, adult phone line. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not. If I keep talking to you, do I still get my toy? Yeah, this is me. I like it. I kind of need like the wings going up. It Which sort of has it going on. But. I was like, wait, did I put them on right? I think the other thing too is you remember like back in the day, like the toys that have like the handles underneath, yeah. so you can like kind of move around that way to be kind of cool. I don't think it would came with that. But I guess this is more like pleasing to look at. Oh, that's gonna go next to the uh, next to the hive thing. Yeah, I was gonna say you have the one I still need to try to get is the queen. I have normal queen in the package, fine queen. Or the figures anyways, I need to place that. He also had the uh, queen with Ripley in the wall. Oh, it's not Ripley, but yeah. No, this is the McFarlane Queen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There was the somebody queen. in the wall, but he wanted hundred and thirty dollars for it. Yeah, especially with the NECA one being a much better figure. Yeah. Hard to jump on that one, but like, you still need, you should have got the Evan Resurrection figures. They have Ripley and uh, Winona Ryder's character from the movie. Should have got Ripley at least. 
At least Ripley. Well, I mean, Ripley's only like seven dollars on eBay. Yeah, they're, they're not expensive. He wanted ten dollars for her. <laughs> oh no! All right, let's zoom in. Although I found a, uh, if you want one, there's a lot for fifty-five bucks that has a King Alien in it. Is it closed or open? It's open right now. Wow. Probably you get a bunch of figures that are. Uh, no, no, is that case? Well, that's yeah, I, there's no, there's not in the package. Aww. I found two, but there are lots. But here is the Evac Fighter with the uh, very grayish blue color scheme. Got some guns on the front, some little plastic built in weaponry on the sides here. Got a missile launcher on the top. With Which your, it works. Yep. Added missiles on the bottom here. Your spring on the side here for the alien co trapping compartments. Which I guess you kind of just like drop it on top of it. You set it like that and you just land and flies yeah. off. Just, just kind of cool. I like it. And then you can pull the thing. Yeah! And it goes flying out of the ship. And now you can hold it like this. My alien! <laughs> Hard plastic throughout. Attack! Hold on, solve this problem. Fire! <laughs> I rejected it. No, we came back. Yeah, no, this is pretty cool. Well, you can pick it up right now online for like 30 bucks. Yeah. 30, 40. The trap thing just... It just slides right in. Really cool. I recommend this. This would be a fun little video to do. Oh, yeah, definitely. We already had a request for it. Yeah, we'll have to review that one for sure. Real quick, here's the Voltex T-Rex. Color scheme is a little weird. But I guess it's more accurate for what was in that movie. Would it be more of like yellowish green and brown? I was going to say, it definitely kind of looks like the movie, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got the design overall. Just coloring seems weird to me a little bit. Looks nice, though. I kind of wish it was more like the first movie, though, where it's just like Matt Brown. Oh, that would have been awesome. That would have been really nice. But still a really cool looking figure. Very poseable for how small it is. It's just the ratchet joints. For Voltec, it's what you get. A little odd. This might be more something I review more towards Christmas, though. Once or after Christmas, anyways. Once Jessica finally gets her hands on this, so I'll probably ever help me with the video. But this would be a cool one to do for sure. So we haven't done a dinosaur one in a while. A oh, while. Here is the random Sega anime girl <laughs> from Evangelion. Detail wise, looks really nice. Like her little beret. Like the data pad, even though it's in the butt. It's just like Sega statues, my only issue is, is like a lot of them just have like very bland looking stands. Yeah, yeah they do actually. Even yeah. like the Kill a Kill ones just says Kill a Kill on it, you know? Yeah, there's like no coloring, nothing. But like, even grabbing these ones here, which are the Arimo Magical Girl statues, it's just pink, a little bit of writing there. But then again, like these are fairly inexpensive. Like these two... I picked up for just about 30 bucks. For both of them? Or for each? both of them. Yeah, see, that's not bad at all. Yeah, but the stands match between the two of them. She's actually kind of heavy. Alpha Omega? I look really nice overall. Just, it's a little bit of a pain to get the staff in your hand. This one, on the other hand, is actually a gorgeous looking like, figure. It's still. But it's Kotobukiya. Like, they do really nice sculpts. It's got a really nice gloss finish to her. Latex outfits. Got the snake wrapping wrapping around her leg, going in between, coming up around the top here. Pretty revealing, but like nothing. Yeah, it's not bad. Like I, you could still have this with kids around. Yeah, just they just might ask questions. But I like the expression too, because it's pretty unique for a lot of these anime figures. It's usually a lot of them are like happy expressions. Well, like, I kind of appreciate some of the Arimos because they really look uncomfortable at what they're wearing. Especially what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. Like, I definitely want to try to get the Sega versions of these. Here's the guts. Which I want. The package. Still on it. I'll sell it to you for the low, low price of $20. I will hit you and take everything for free. Oh. I paid four, 14 Yeah. My guts for 14 Really cool. I got to snip this part. Why? Because he doesn't need the dingly little... What, am I going to do a hand up on my Christmas tree? Yeah. I got enough random ornaments. <laughs> I don't need more. Yep, super cute, super adorable. So if you like pugs in anime, definitely recommend picking up this guy. Super cute. 
Here's a Super Akiba Red. We have his waifu armor wrapping around his body. Looks cool. I also like, like, the helmets kind of look like hair. Which is really neat. I really need to actually look more into this show. Like, I've seen enough to where I was like, I'll pick up some figures. Because it's just, it's kooky, like, hentai comic. Yeah. And it's just kind of like, it makes, it's more like Power Rangers for adults. Where it's making fun of it. Uh, not gonna be opening the rest of these. I'll be doing reviews for these sometime or another, since we'll have most of the sets. So I might just do all the Rangers at once. And just so you guys get a little bit of a better look at the King Alien. Uh, sadly, like on the back of the package, it shows the green version, which might have been cool, which you can get by himself uh, as the green version. But the pack one came with the silver, and then I got the Hicks figure to go along with. Uh, for some other ones that they make, I kind of want the arachnid. Like, I would actually might pick up a lot of these sets, because for the most part, I don't really have these aliens packaged that we yeah. came with these. Uh, the only one I still have in the box, I have a queen facehugger. Uh, but I don't have a scorpion cred, and I just don't have this one in general, the arachnid. So, but yeah, so, one of my holy grail alien figures... Finally yeah, got it is your boss, uh, Next one, yeah, you do that Arachnid Alien. Arachnid and the Big Kenner. Like, I'm only getting the Big Kenner one. Uh, there's one people are bidding on right now. How much? Yeah, look, uh, it's about 90 bucks. Yeah. That's it. It's an expensive figure, but it's one of those like eventually I might try. Uh, if I ever see it like in a resale shop or something, maybe. Well, like I'm in no rush to get him. It's just if I do find him like this, I'll buy him. You know? Yeah. Though what I like about these ones is it actually has, like, the characters from the movies. It's not, like, random, obscure people like you got with some of the action figures. Like the King Kong. Like, Bishop was, like, freaky looking. But you had Apon, which made more sense. But, like, on, with these figures, you get Drake, Hicks, Vasquez, Hudson. Not sure who O'Malley is. I like, too, that O'Malley comes with, like, this weird, like, Baby gate looking arm. I don't know who that is. Yeah, he's not in the movie. But he has weapons to catch a predator, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that was a very dorky looking figure. But yeah, well, that's pretty much it for this unboxing. Uh, we'll probably do a review of the alien figure sometime. Not sure in the near future, because I'm going to be working on Orb and the Turtles today. But I still got to do those Nano Droids. There's the Nano Droids. There's the Becca Gods, like, as soon as he comes in, that's just getting done. Yeah, that's... But then I'll probably, after that, I'll be more working on, like, older figures. Which, that would be a cool one, because we haven't done an old alien figure in a while. That is pretty... It's not that bad. I'm not putting it back. I'm not taking it apart, though. There's no way. No. Uh, this is very much what's inside of the box. It's out of the box. <laughs> just, I was going to say, the shape that the box is on, almost pitch it. But. Yeah. It's, it's got nowhere. It's just going to go in a closet with the other box. from the. Uh, you can fit it inside that box. Yeah. But yeah, so I look forward to that. Uh, I might do the Akiba Rangers, and the uh, T-Rex will probably be like after Christmas. You know, I'll probably just do all of them to get all of them because I got the gold one over there, so. Yeah, well, we've been missing, like, I went, there's, like, one other figure, but I'm, I'm probably not going to get it. Why? I don't I really, like, I haven't seen much of the show, so I don't know who it is. How much? Yeah, they're all expensive. I'll grab the odd one, then. It's not like some random dude, but he sold already, so I don't know. Well, if you come across him, if he's cheap, buy him. I'll grab the random guy. I'll let you know. So I said. This way we have all of them. What? Hope to meet this guy. Just no hit that like button. Subscribe to Come Arrange this. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay.